Hi, Softer community. We are really excited to roll out our revamped block settings panel today. So let's just dive in and see what's changed. I'm gonna start by adding a block and let's make it a dynamic block to start. I'm gonna make it a list and let's say the use case is I'm a teacher and I wanna have a look at my students for the upcoming semester. So list with horizontal cards would be perfect. So far, things look pretty similar to how it used to be, but let's click into the settings panel. As you can see, obviously there are some changes. The first change is that the settings are now organized into tabs rather than a really long list. So take this list block, for example. Under the data tab, you're gonna set up your table, view, and your conditional filters. So let me just do that really quickly. I'm going to choose my Airtable base. I'm going to choose the table that I want to show. I can also choose a default view. I can sort with list settings. I can change the message for the empty state. And I can add conditional filters at the bottom. Next up, we have the Features tab. Under the Features tab, you will set up your user-facing features, such as which fields to show on each list item, which inline filters to have, and more. So as you can see, first we have our inline filters where you can create your settings here. We also had the search bar, which you can toggle on and off. The see more button, change the label. And then we have our item fields down below. So for the item fields, this is where we are going to assign what we want to show up over here in our block, our list block. So let me go ahead and add a couple of things. So for the heading, I want it to be the student's name. For the image, I'm going to delete the label and just pull the image of the student that I have on my Airtable base. For this text label, I'm gonna rename it course name and we're gonna link up the course field. And then for email, student email, and let's bring in the email. Okay, so now I have just a little bit of dummy data over here. First up, I wanna delete these additional list item fields that I don't need. So I'm gonna hover over the three dots and just click delete as so. So I'm gonna do that three times. Okay, perfect. So here's what's changed. First of all, you're gonna see up here next to item fields and you've probably noticed as well, anytime I'm hovering over this little icon right here, this essentially is our new icon, the mixer icon that allows you to edit the different, different settings for each of these different fields. So let's click into this one to start. As you can see, the list item styles are listed here. So here I can change the background of the list item. I can change the margins so we can make more space in between them. Let's make maybe the border color black. Um, you can also change the roundness, add a drop shadow, and add a hover state if you so choose. So that's for each list item style. And then you can go in individually in this card here to click the three dots and you can style each individual field item. So we have the text size here. I'm gonna make the name a little bit bigger. You can also change the color. You can change the font with preview font now, weight and spacing, and then down below you have your padding, margins, general width, and alignment. So you can do this individually for each list item field here. So before you had to essentially style each label and value independently, and now within these mixer icons, you can style both the label and the value together. So as you can see here for the image, I'm gonna go to style, and you can do the label here as well as the content. So for the label side, I can change the text size. And then for the content, I can change the width of the image if I so choose, the height, probably to play around with this a bit, <laughs> um, the roundness, the border, anything that has to do with the content. Looks pretty good. All right, so let's keep moving on. At the bottom of the features tab, you're gonna see the embed block. Right now I haven't pu pun it, <laughs> punished, I haven't published my app yet, so I can't embed anything yet. But once you publish, you'll see it down here. 
In the next tab, we have the styles. So this is your general styles for this block. So I can do change the padding. I can also change the background color. I'm gonna make it the same color as the block above. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. You can also change border top and border bottom in this section as well. In the visibility tab, you can define which user groups can view this block as well as set the device level of visibility, as you can see here. In the edit tab, you can essentially just choose your user edit settings based off of what types of groups you have set. Pretty cool, right? So I just showed you guys a dynamic block. Let me quickly show you what it looks like with a static block. So let's say we're going to add a feature block and it's going to be a feature with a product demo. So as you can see, click into it and you see the settings panel over here. As you can see, each individual component by hovering and clicking over the mixer icon is where you can essentially change the styles for that specific component. So for the header, probably want to make it a little bit bigger, actually. Um, subtitle, you can change anything within here as well as the font and et cetera, et cetera. So even down to the images here, look for the little mixer icon and that's where you can make the changes. So overall, this is essentially a way for you guys to build applications in a much faster and more intuitive way and really allows you to style each of your components um, pretty quickly and with less clicks, right? So let us know what you think and I really can't wait to see what you guys build.